Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Antarctica is one of the most extreme environments on the Earth. Although this makes exploring the region challenging, the ice holds many secrets that could help us to understand the climates on other planets. Scientists are largely focused on researching how certain forms of life, no matter how small, are able to survive and even thrive in such a hostile, barren, and stunning place. Due to its unforgiving climate and natural habitat, we have only been able to discover just a little bit about Antarctica. Only thanks to satellite imagery have we been able to at least map out all of it. However, when it comes to actual exploration, we are pretty much still at the tip of the iceberg. The discoveries made so far, no matter how little about the giant ice land, are still too significant and amazing just to glance over. So sit back and relax as we take you on a journey to the extreme part of our world and show you some of its amazing features. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. Just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 10. The Gambertsev Mountains. Mountains that soar to incredible heights exist 600 meters below the ice in East Antarctica. The range extends over 1,200 kilometers with peaks as high as 3,400 meters. A group of Soviet researchers first discovered the mountain ranges in 1957, an extreme remote region of the continent where temperatures often drop below negative 80 degrees Celsius. Since their discovery, the range has been the subject of much curiosity but few expedition due to its isolated location. In the last decade, scientists have made remarkable discoveries about the Gambertsev range. Researchers spent many months on location collecting data and examining radar images of the range, which revealed deep river valleys, tons of jagged peaks, and liquid lakes beneath over 1.6 kilometers of ice. Although scientists were able to determine that the mountains were not formed volcanically, their origin is still uncertain. Despite being around 100 million years old, the mountains look extremely young. Scientists attribute this youthful appearance to the gravely slowed erosion process caused by the ice tomb in which the range is trapped. Number 9. Lake Vostok Officially discovered by Russian scientists in the 1990s, Lake Vostok is now known to be the largest subglacial lake in Antarctica and the third largest lake by volume on Earth. Vostok sits 3.5 kilometers under the continent and was covered by ice over 20 million years ago. Incredibly, Vostok may help scientists to learn about conditions on Europa, Jupiter's moon, and Enceladus, Saturn's moon. In 2012, Russian scientists drilled a hole deep into the ice and extracted a sample of lake water. However, the sample was contaminated by the drilling materials, and the team had to undertake a second sampling mission in 2015. During this attempt, the team hit the surface of the water at nearly 3,800 meters. Amazingly, the waters of Lake Vostok are around negative 3 degrees Celsius and don't freeze because of tremendous pressure from the way of the ice sheet. The scientific community is unsure whether the latest sample is pure. You go how far? One mile. One mile at 25 knots. You don't even want to think about it. Worries the Southern Ocean when you could run into something. Number 8. Southern Ocean. In 2000, the International Hydrographic Organization decided that the massive Southern Ocean would be named the world's fifth ocean. The ocean surrounds the entire continent of Antarctica and is comprised of the southern portions of the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans. The Southern Ocean is about twice the size of the United States and has a maximum depth of nearly 7,300 meters. The Southern Ocean has powerful currents that play an important role in driving global ocean circulation. It also absorbs a tremendous amount of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, although this won't last forever. Amazingly, the Southern Ocean has absorbed 15% of carbon emission caused by humans since the Industrial Revolution. Researchers are hard at work gathering and analyzing data to see how this absorption process works and what causes it to fluctuate during certain seasons. Who knows? Maybe the research could unlock the secret to better managing our carbon footprint and eventually solve the global climate change crisis. I tried, meow, 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 meow. Number 7. Pine Island Glacier Pine Island Glacier, or PIG, is unique because it's Antarctica's fastest melting glacier. PIG is known as an ice stream, and its melt contributes more to the rising sea levels than any other glacier on the planet. In 2015, a massive iceberg of 585 square kilometers broke off from PIG after melting from the inside out. Scientists believe that other large portions of the West Antarctic ice sheet could collapse in the next few decades. The effect would be catastrophic for the environment. 
causing the ocean to rise many feet in coastal areas around the globe to be flooded. Pig plays a vital role in preventing this because it acts as a plug to keep the ice streams from flowing into the ocean. As sea temperatures rise, warming this glacier and others from below, it may not be long before the pig plug ceases to act as a cork. And just to put this into perspective, if this natural shield is damaged, that would cause unforeseen problems for coastal regions all across the globe. A 10-foot rise in the sea level would mean catastrophe for the U.S. and would lose about 28,800 square miles of land, which is currently home to more than 13 million people. Now we can further imagine the damage that would go on worldwide. Scary. Number 6. Antarctic Fungi the fungi in Antarctica are able to survive on some of the most hostile conditions on the planet. Although Antarctica is completely devoid of trees, wood decay fungi are gorging on the wood huts long abandoned by Ernest Shackleton and Robert Scott, two of the continent's most legendary explorers. The vacant huts are over a century old, and it seems that a few species of fungi attacking the huts are actually native to Antarctica. Considering that fungi thrive in warm, heavily wooded zones, the fact that endemic species are discovered was quite remarkable for scientists. Another type of fungus has been feasting on the petroleum slowly leaking from the old fuel containers left by the same explorers. The Antarctic fungus could potentially be used to cleaning up larger oil spills around the world. Number 5. Huge Sand Dunes Sand is often associated with warmer climates, but Antarctica also has its fair share of very large dunes. Antarctica is actually considered to be the largest desert in the world. It is incredibly cold, dry, and windy and almost completely covered in ice except for a small portion that makes up less than 1% of the continent. Massive sand dunes are found in this area. The largest dune stands in Victoria Valley at a whopping 70 meters high and over 200 meters wide. Studying these dunes also helps scientists theorize about similar dunes on Mars. Unfortunately, the dunes of Antarctica are moving at an alarming rate that has tripled in the last 40 years. Scientists fear that the accelerated migration, which averages 1.5 meters per year, could be directly related to climate change. As levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere rise and warms the planet, ice melts and loosens its grip on the dunes, causing them to retreat quickly. Researchers hope to safely drill into the valley with the dunes to study their behavior. Number 4. Lake Ellsworth British scientists first discovered this subglacial lake in 1996 and have been fixated on it ever since. The lake sits three kilometers below the West Antarctic ice sheet, and researchers believe that this has been undisturbed for nearly half a million years. Scientists are eager to begin the drilling process to answer one of the greatest mysteries associated with subglacial lakes. The UK team drilled into the lake to obtain a water sample in December of 2012, after determining which method would be the least harmful to Ellsworth's habitat. The scientists developed a hot water drill that would create a cavity in the ice, fill up with lake water, and then be pumped to the surface. However, the mission was called off due to equipment and operational issues. Although other research teams have drilled into other subglacial lakes in Antarctica, Lake Ellsworth has yet to be penetrated, prolonging the mystery of whether life exists in its waters. I don't believe it. That's the skull of Goliath. Number 3. Fossils in November 2016, the fossilized forewings of a new beetle species were found near the Trans-Antarctic Mountains on the Beardmore Glacier. The beetle has been named the Balls Antarctic Tundra Beetle and lived between 14 and 20 million years ago, when Antarctica was warmer than today. Other types of fossils have been found on the icy continent before and have been a great source of mystery and debate among scientists. Over 30 years ago, tiny single-celled fossils called diatomes were found in the soaring peaks of the Transantarctic Mountains. For decades, scientists have been unable to definitively explain their presence. According to new research, however, strong winds and shifting glaciers are more likely responsible for the high positioning of the fossils. The findings also suggest that ice sheets are far less stable than previously thought. Number 2. Mount Erebus Mount Erebus is the world's southernmost active volcano on Ross Island, Antarctica. The volcano is 3,800 meters high and is quite active. Mount Erebus is one of the last volcanoes on Earth with an active lava lake, and it's one of the most remote. The volcano's location and weather conditions don't allow scientists to visit Erebus in person often, so they take most eruption photos by satellite. However, in 2013, a small team of scientists climbed Erebus and took a quick peek inside the caldera. To their amazement, they saw quite a bit of movement from organisms living in the intense heat of the volcano. The volcano began forming about 1.3 million years ago. Snow, rocks, and glaciers covered the sides of the mountain, and steam can be usually seen rising from its summit. The mountain also contains several ice caves containing thousands of microscopic organisms. 
Scientists believe that some of the world's least understood and weirdest forms of bacteria thrive in the soil of these caves. The caves are near the surface but covered from sight by a thin layer of ice. This makes climbing the mountain a risky affair. Ice crystals also form within the cave from the heat given off by the volcano. Number 1. Blood Falls The striking rust-colored blood falls emerge from the Taylor Glacier and flow into Lake Bonnie which is located in the dry valleys. The waterfall is five stories high and gets its creepy blood hue from the trapped lake from which it flows. The lake is very high in salinity and rich in iron. The waterfall flows from a fissure in the glacier and holds a hidden ecosystem beneath the thick layers of ice. Scientists believe that ancient communities of microbes cut off from the outside world are thriving in this body of water, which contains little heat, no light, and no oxygen. The falls were first discovered in 1911 by a geologist and have been a source of fascination and research ever since. The theory goes that the lake was formed when the Taylor Glacier advanced over top of a large pool of seawater nearly 5 million years ago. Scientists are excited about the prospect of learning how life on other planets could behave based on the research conducted on the falls ecosystem. Since Mars has a similar climate to the dry valleys of Antarctica, this site is the perfect place to work on unlocking some of the biggest mysteries in the universe.